Good day and welcome to the tax year end submission video for Sage Pastel Payroll and HR. Please open up your payroll year end company or your copy company that was created in the year end procedure. Once you select to open it, it will advise that you are opening a copy company. Please ensure that you are on the latest version of Pastel Payroll by selecting on Help and About. Please ensure that your pay frequencies are in year end by selecting on Utility, System Status. Kindly run your exception report by selecting on View, Statutory Report, IRP5, IT3A Exception Report. Print the report for all employees and select the print status as both. If it is only the tax numbers that are missing, you will still be able to import the electronic certificate into EasyFile with warnings. However, sales require for each employee to have a tax number. Once the exception report is clear, you will now be able to generate the CSV or IRP 5.17 file which can be imported into SARS EasyFile. To generate the IRP 5.17 file, select View, Statutory Reports, IRP 5, IT3A Electronic Certificate. Select All Employees. Complete the first certificate number field. Select Final Print and select the directory where the IRP 5.17 file will be created. Select OK. The system will advise that the certificate has been created successfully. Go to View, Statutory Report and print the EMP 501 Reconciliation Report. This report will be used to complete your SARS Reconciliation Declaration to reconcile the total PAYE, UIF, SDL and ETI contributions. You can now open up your easy file. Enter in your login details and select log on. Ensure that you are on the latest updates of EasyFile. Select on Import Export Payroll File. Select Import Payroll File. Select OK. Browse to the location of where the IRP 5.17 file was saved and select to open it. Select OK. Please note that the payroll file has passed validation with warnings. These warnings are due to the tax numbers that have not been completed. Please consult the import log to view these warnings. This log can be found under Utility, Import Log. Select on OK to import the record. The payroll file imported successfully. You can now continue to complete reconciliation declaration. Thank you for viewing the video and enjoy your day.